Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polishes on Sundays We Stamp. Today we're doing wildflowers, inspired by the theme of this month's boxy charm, which I will be showing you later on in the week. I'm starting off with Two Coats of Green Thumb by Sally Henson. This color on the first coat does not look that great. It looks sheer and streaky, but after the second coat, it looks completely opaque. And the weird thing is, is I don't like green. I don't like green. I've never liked it. And suddenly, out of nowhere, I kind of think I'm starting to like green. I don't know what happened. I'm changing. I'm a different person. But like I said, two coats and then you are completely opaque. By the way, guys, my mom is recovered. She is back in her own house because she is a young, vibrant, strong, independent woman who does not want to have her kids slowing her down. So she's back home. Next, I'm taking Solus by Bundle Monster. I'm going to be using this to pick up the floral pattern on the Chic Peak plate by, well, what used to be a Bundle Monster, but what is now Maniology. I had high hopes for this design. Um, unfortunately, I think that it is just a little too small and too cluttered for my poor eyesight to actually work with. Not to mention that the soulless was a poor choice because once picked up on the stamper, you can't really see the design all that well, which makes it difficult to paint the flowers inside the design. I think if you're going to do that, you should use a darker color. These are the floral colors I chose to work with. And as you can see, um, you, the soulless is a little hard to see. And on top of that, the design, like I said, it's very small, very cluttered, so it's hard to actually differentiate between what is what. If I had one of those big old magnifying glass things, I probably could have done a better job. But for the most part, I just tried to color in the flowers and hope for the best. To be honest, I've been in kind of a funk after my mom left because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but after my routine is broken up, I end up having kind of a couple of days of just floundering around trying to get myself back to my regular scheduled programming, I guess you could say. And so, like last week, I missed out on my Sundays We Stamp video, and so I was like, I'm going to put one out today, no matter what. And even though I didn't really like the way this manicure turned out, I wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys anyway. So now I've got the flowers that I want in there and I'm taking a clear nail polish and I'm going to go ahead and just coat the entire design with it. And I'm gonna set it aside for about 20 minutes. Next, I'm taking the Chic Peak Flower Child plate. It has these cute little crescent design flowers. And I'm gonna put this one on my pinky because it's small and has one little flower. And I'm going to put this one on my middle index and thumb. And I'm doing the same thing as I did with the larger stamp. I'm picking it up and I am painting in the flowers with my tiny detail brush. And also I am actually changing up the colors so that each finger has different colored flowers on them. This red is actually one of my favorite rose-colored reds. It's called Monroe by Zoya Polish. And I mean, one, I like it because, you know, it's named after Marilyn Monroe and I love her. But two, it's mostly because it's such a beautiful rosy color. I'm taking the same regular clear nail polish and I put a coat over my nail just to wet it. And now I am going to apply the decal that I let sit aside and dry. This is just so that it sticks to the nail and you can take it and gently stretch it out on the sides to kind of get rid of all those wrinkles. Now I'm applying the other fingers and I also let them sit and dry for about 10 to 15 minutes after applying the clear coat nail polish. And now I'm just cleaning it up with my cleanup brush. Once you have it all cleaned up, I am putting on my top coat, which Super love, can't can't live without this top coat now. I don't know what I'm done. I'm gonna have to do something about it since it's one of just a jumble of other polishes. And here's the final result. 
It's floral, it's fun, but I wish I could have done it better. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.